Listen, not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much honey, my shoot up. What's good with y'all, man? It's Clutch. We back on our video. As you guys see my title, this is the official Damian Lillard build in NBA 2K20. But before we get into that, man, I just want to say, if you guys haven't yet, you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, man. We about to hit 5K subs. We're literally 10 subs away from hitting 5K. So if you haven't subbed yet, it would be very appreciated if you guys could sub. But I just want to get that out the way because you know what I'm saying. And make sure you guys drop a like, of course, so other people could see this godlike video. But let's get straight into it. So obviously when it comes to this build, you want to make him a point guard because Damian Lillard is a point guard. He's right-handed and his number is zero. So make sure you guys copy that exactly like how I do. And we gonna get straight into the build right here. And I also want to say thank you guys so much for the recent support, especially on my last video, my top three shooting guard builds. You guys were going crazy on that belt, still going crazy. I just want to say thank you guys for that. But when it comes to skill breakdown, you guys know Damian Lillard. I was looking into this pure playmaking pie chart because it looked pretty good. He has high playmaking, he could shoot, and he's more athletic. But I turned out to find a better pie chart, which is actually the playmaking and shooting, which I know you guys, if you're thinking of Damian Lillard, obviously this is the one you guys are probably thinking of. And it turns out, of course, it is his pie chart. So make sure you guys pick this one for the best shooting and best playmaking pretty good build like i said but when it comes to this physical profile is this really even a question obviously damian lillard has max agility he's fast as hell so make sure you guys pick this pie chart right here to get you the max agility now when it comes to these attributes make sure you guys like in any of my videos copy everything down how like i do it you know what i'm saying i get you guys the most badges possible but pretty much what i did for finishing i think i maxed out close shot driving layup and driving dunk i maxed out those three stats so make sure you guys do that actually never mind i actually put close shot to an 80 it maxed out at 85 but i put it to 80 my fault i almost messed up on that but shooting i maxed out every single stat i'm positive on this i maxed out mid-range three-pointer free throw and post fade of course you guys can see you get a total of 22 shooting badges which is pretty good pretty good not gonna lie same with the playmaking i maxed out pass accuracy ball handling and i put a little bit on post moves i think i put like 49 or something like that i tried to see like you know what i'm saying i tried to take two upgrades off just to see if i could get an extra badge upgrade on any of these extra categories you guys are going to see in this video but i actually ended up just putting them back on post moves because those two upgrades didn't really matter you know what i'm saying but same with defense i actually maxed out pretty good stats we're gonna have defense on this build of course i don't want to leave you guys Hand, empty handed on defense and you put the rest on that defensive rebound you guys can see i have two upgrades so i was just trying to see any builds any uh upgrades see if it would like give me an extra badge you guys see it wasn't really giving me an extra badge so i was like eh, whatever i'm gonna just put it on you know the post the post moves again so that's exactly what i did but that's pretty much the the upgrades you guys can see we got a total of three finishing 22 shooting 20 playmaking and five defensive and rebounding if you guys add that up that's a total of 50 badges so it's pretty good and something else about these builds is like i always try to get them to stay similar to damian lillard i couldn't i know i could have went some different ways but this is just the way i like doing my videos i like to have it say similar to the player i'm making that's just the way i like doing my videos but when it comes to body style it doesn't matter i just pick the find i mean it really don't matter do whatever you want to do for this of course now here's a key thing the height i'm not gonna lie to you i saw a lot of people saying he's 6 1 some people said he's 6 2 some people said he's 6 3 now i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna go off what the nba says and the nba actually lists damian lord as six foot two that's just what i'm going off of and if you guys didn't know the nba just recently remeasured everybody's height in the nba and they have him measured at six foot two so that's what i'm gonna go as you guys see we get a boost to our playmaking and our shooting and a little bit to our driving layup not too much but I'm going to just list my 6'2". Unfortunately, this build is kind of short. But hey, if you came for a Damian Lillard build, obviously Damian Lillard isn't super tall. So, of course, make it just like him. Now, his weight, Damian Lillard actually weighs 194 pounds. It's a kind of odd weight. But hey, that's just how much he weighs. So, that's what we're going to go with. So, make sure you guys do that if you want to make it exactly like Damian Lillard. You don't really lose out on too much anyways. Now, his wingspan. His wingspan is actually pretty long for being a short guard. His wingspan is actually 80 inches. This is the close to 80 inches. But his in, his wingspan is six foot eight, and this is which equates to eighty inches. I don't recommend doing that because if you guys look at the shooting, you get minus two on your three pointer and midi, and you minus one on your ball handling. So I would recommend you actually take your wingspan all the way down, so 
you get better shooting and better ball handling. Look at your shooting. 89 mid-range, 89 or 88 three-pointer, and a 93 ball handling. It's 10 times better. So make sure you guys do that. I don't recommend doing his actual wingspan because you take too many hits and you can't afford to take those hits. Now, takeover-wise, there's a good a good amount of options when it comes to takeover. Me personally, I think it's best to go with shot creator. I don't know, that's just me. You guys can go with sharpshooter, playmaker, slasher. It's up to you, but I recommend going shot creator. That's just what I recommend. And you guys can see this build is called the Playmaking Shot Creator. And the very first name, similar to Damian Lillard, Stephen Curry, and Steve Nash. This is a pretty good guard build, like I said. Damian Lillard build right here. If you're still watching, man, make sure you guys hit that like. And like I said, subscribe, man. We about to hit 5K subs, 10 subs away. So if you're still watching, you haven't subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. But like I do in every single one of my build videos, of course, I had to give you guys the best badges. So we're going to get straight into the badges for this build. You guys get a lot of shooting, you get a good amount of playmaking. Finishing is the category we don't have the most badges. It was either finishing or defense, and defense is more important, so I decided to do defense. But finishing, well, this is kind of hard because you only have three badges. I do recommend doing Giant Slayer. At least have that badge silver because you're a 6'2 guard. When you're going up on taller defenders than you, it's going to help you out. You guys can see boost the shot percentage for layup attempt and mismatch against a taller defender. It reduces the chance. Something I couldn't see it, but you guys see it's going to help you against taller defenders pretty much. So make sure you guys do that. And if you really want to, you can even do gold, but I recommend doing silver. And you can also pair this up with a bronze badge like slithery finisher, fancy footwork, or even contact finisher. Now, I know you guys are probably looking for my recommendation. So out of those three badges, I would have to recommend I would have to recommend you do fancy footwork because I feel like with this build, you're going to be doing a lot of hop steps, euros, and stuff like that. And this badge is going to help you out. Obviously, it's just bronze, but hey, it's still going to help you out. Trust me. So that's what I recommend doing for your finishing badges. So let's get straight into the shooting badges now. So you get a total of 22. You get Hall of Fame badges. Obviously, you need Hall of Fame quick draw. You're going to need Hall of Fame range extender, Hall of Fame green machine, Hall of Fame difficult shots. This is just what I recommend. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen my top five shooting badges, this is the exact same shooting badges I picked. And in my opinion, they are the best shooting badges. These five right here and also this green machine. Like I said, these are the best five shooting badges in my opinion. These, these badges are going to help you shoot great, of course. Now, these two badges you have left, you could either put them on tireless shooter. You could put it on dead eye too. You guys can see tireless shooter, volume shooter, or dead eye. But I actually recommend you do tireless shooter just because when you're dribbling a lot you're gonna get tired and i know people like whenever they dribble and they have no stamina you're more likely to miss a shot this badge is actually gonna help you make them whenever you're tired bleak and red you guys know what i'm talking about so i think it's a good badge but you can also go with dead eye if you want it's really up to you personal preference but those five hall of fame make sure you guys do those because they're the best playmaking badges you get 20 of them so that equals five hall of fame badges i'm recommending you do this this lineup handles for days quick first step space creator hall of fame unpluckable hall of fame and i just have to say tie handles these are the best five playmaking badges in my opinion make sure you guys do that unfortunately you don't have like 30 playmaking badges so you can't do hall of fame dimer hall of fame floor general hall of fame lob city passer needle threader like other pass uh, other badges that are pretty good you won't be able to get but these five hall of fame badges you're gonna get the badges that help you dribble and create your own shot so it's not really going to help your teammates out too much. I mean, it's going to help your teammates on, on the way that you're going to be able to score. But you're not going to be able to, you know say, hit them with them flashy passes. You guys get what I'm trying to say. But that's pretty much it for the playmaking badges. You guys can see we're going to get straight into these defensive badges. We get a total of five. Now, without a question, this is the badge you always need. If you have a lot of defensive badges, make sure you guys do gold clamp. It's going to help you stick to your perimeter players, the people you're guarding, pretty much the guards. And... It's it's up to either Intimidator, Silver, or Pick Dodger, but I would have to recommend Pick Dodger Silver because when you're getting screened by Hall of Fame Brick Wall, it's going to help you out so you don't get tired or you can fight through the screen better. Obviously, it's going to help you out, and you already have Gold Clamp, so that's going to help you play great defense. But that's pretty much the end of the video, man. This is a Damian Lillard build in NBA 2K20. Like I said in my intro, if you guys enjoyed, if you're still watching right now, make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on the post notifications. We're about to hit 5K, 10 subs away. Also, if you guys want to see some more NBA player videos, I have a playlist of all the NBA player videos I've done. So make sure you guys go check that out if you want some more content from me. I also have a playlist for my top three build videos. So make sure you guys go check that out. But that's pretty much the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, clutch out. I'm feeling your energy. And shorty, man, she really into me.
I got lots of enemies, and they wanna act like they friends with me.